Welcome back for another video. Today's video will be about the Lot Stoners 13 Gang. The Lot Stoners Gang are a Mexican-American street gang born in East Los Angeles. The Stoners part of the gang name comes from the generation during the late 1970s where partying, consuming drugs, and drinking were all activities done by the Lot. They went from being a social club to a traditional street gang. During the evening of June 17, 1996, seven men, Jose Gutierrez, Juan Pablo Rocha, brothers Mario, Juan, and Horacio Jimenez, and victims Jose Albert Rodriguez and Hector Ricardo Gonzalez Martinez were working on a car in the driveway of Jimenez's brother's house at 835 North Cordova Avenue in an area of East Los Angeles that the Lopez Maravilla street gang claimed as its home turf. At some point, a man identified as Jose Gonzalez fired two shots from a rifle toward the men, hitting Rodriguez and Martinez. Both Rodriguez and Martinez died of single gunshot wounds to the body. Jose was a member of a street gang, the Lot Stoners 13, that was a rival of the Lopez Maravilla gang. He had Lot 13 tattooed on his neck and, at least by the time of trial, also on the back of his head. Juan Rocha identified Jose Gonzalez at trial as well as previously during a photo lineup. Jose Gonzalez was convicted of the murders of Jose Albert Rodriguez and Hector Ricardo Gonzalez Martinez and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Jose was sentenced to death. During the afternoon of October 7, 2002, Angela Garcia was driving a black Ford Explorer with George Barraza in the front seat. Raza, also known as Trooper, was a lot shot caller. They drove by Shore High School and picked up two juveniles, 17-year-old Lucio Ramirez and 14-year-old Saul Herrera. The group drove into rival gang territory and saw a Stoner's gang member, Jamie Arseniega, at 1018 Leonard Avenue. Barraza gave Garcia instructions to kind of recon the area, go around it. He also directed her on how to commit the shooting, showing her where to park so she can get away from the back streets. Using his cell phone, Barraza called Daniel Cervantes, also known as Snaps, and told him to get guns. Barraza then informed the group that they were going to the Jack in a Box to get the guns. Garcia drove to the Jack in a Box parking lot where they met Cervantes and Cervantes' cousin, another juvenile, Eddie Chavira. Barraza directed Cervantes to show the juveniles how to use the gun and told Garcia to drive the three juveniles back toward the Leonard Avenue location. Barraza and Cervantes drove in Cervantes' car following Garcia. Barraza and Cervantes were at the corner of Montebello and Leonard Place where they stood outside the car and later watched the shooting. Garcia drove back to the location near Leonard Avenue. Ramirez and Javira jumped out of the SUV, each wielding a weapon. Ramirez tried to shoot Arseniega, but his gun safety was on and it did not fire. Javira fired several shots at Arseniega, but missed. Ramirez and Javira ran back to the SUV, where Garcia and Herrera had remained with the engine running. Once the boys were back in the car, Garcia sped off. Luis Mendoza, Arseniega's neighbor, testified that he was inside his house when he heard shots coming from across the street or in front of his house. He mounted his motorcycle, chased the car, and ultimately flagged down a sheriff's deputy. Los Angeles County Sheriff's Deputy Angela Contreras and other deputies stopped the SUV, detained all four occupants, and recovered a 9mm semi-automatic handgun from the car and a 22 caliber handgun from Tavera. Contreras identified a booking photograph of Garcia as the driver of the SUV. Two more witnesses were present during the shooting, Jesus Rios and Jamie Sierra. Rios told a deputy that he had seen the SUV circling the area just before the shooting. Rios concluded that because the SUV was driving back and forth, the people in the SUV were going to blast the stoner's member. He had also seen two lot members from Shore High School fire at the victim, enter the SUV, and speed away. Finally, Jamie Sierra testified he was on his front porch when he heard the gunshots. 
He saw two males run past him with guns, then saw a black Ford Explorer SUV pass him. He later identified Ramirez and Tavira as the ones who committed the shooting. Eleven days after the shooting, on October 18, 2002, Brenda Sierra, Jamie Sierra's sister, hereafter Brenda, disappeared while walking to Shore High School. On October 19, 2002, Brenda was found dead in San Bernardino County. Ramirez testified at trial identifying Barraza by his moniker Trooper and Cervantes as leaders of the Diablos clique of Lot. A female driver picked up Ramirez and Herrera from Shura High School the day before and the day of the shooting. On the day of the shooting, October 7, 2002, the female was again driving Barraza, Ramirez and Herrera around looking for rival gang members. When they saw gang members at 1018 Leonard Avenue, Barraza said, there they are, and that they were from stoners. He further stated, we're going to come back and smoke them. The phrase smoke them meant kill him, shoot him. Daniel Cervantes and Angela Marie Garcia were convicted of attempted murder. In 2015, the gang eventually made it back to the news, when some of its members were finally named as suspects in an ongoing investigation. Police had been looking into the violent demise of Brenda Sierra, a 15-year-old girl who was kidnapped, raped, and killed by a group of three in 2002. The killing was ordered in retaliation for the fact that the victim's brother had testified against the gang. 30-year-old Eddie Chavera, as well as 35-year-old Daniel Cervantes and George Barraza, were all charged with multiple crimes. Rosemary Tavera, 28, was an old friend of Brenda's at the time of her killing and was charged with her murder.